So now we'll be seeing out the new model of Apex figures. I'll show you an example here. I'm just trying to create a new account and uh, I'm named as Pro Coding Skills. If I say, you can see there is a validation error message reading is required, phone is required, and website. All these validation error messages are triggered from Apex triggers, right? So let's go and check it out the Apex handler. So this is how the Apex triggers, it's a very plain one. So now you can see, I just defined like a fields as a set of string, which I added everything as a fields. And then I'm iterating the new list. Then you can see a new method that I added, record.addError field name as a string. Now what happened earlier, we used to write a add.field error if you remember in our old days, like we used to write an example, something like, record dot field name dot add error so after winter 21 we have a new method available that is like add error where you can pass a two argument the first argument will be your field api name and the second argument will be your error message with that you can make your more trigger handler more precise and you can keep these fields as a configurable under your custom settings custom metadata or even your field sets this way it makes you more reliable and you can even configure your error message Thank you. Please subscribe to our channel, Procoding Skills.